So long, not sure where I was bound, lost before I was ever found, wondering if I'd forever roam, now writing songs and stories from home. I didn't know who I was, what I should do that changed the day that I met you to know someone and to be known, sharing songs and stories from home. Welcome to Songs and Stories from Home, the podcast. In the movie, A Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, Tom Hanks, as Mr. Rogers, tells us that anything that's mentionable is manageable. I want to believe that. I, I choose to believe that. And yet it's something I didn't learn when I was growing up. What I did learn when I turned 22 is that without knowing it, I'd grown up in a family in which there were things that were unmentionable. That my dad had been in a mental, mental institution when I was born. That his brother, my uncle, had died in a mental institution. That mental illness especially in the form of anxiety, was and remains part of my inheritance. At this stage in my 70s, I realized that, well, there is still a stigma around mental, Ill, mental illness, that it's nothing to be ashamed of, but can be something that needs to be managed. And to do that, it needs to be mentioned, at least to those we are closest to, and when necessary, to healthcare workers who can help us. Looking back, I cringe at the stories I told myself to try to make sense of what I was feeling inside without any of those insights. I told myself that there was something wrong with me, that I was broken in some way I didn't understand, probably irredeemably, certainly something to be ashamed of, and in lots of ways that story, those stories, kept me from learning to truly love myself. And I feel at times led me to do things to prove to other people I was not lovable and in the process, I hurt them. My greatest regret. These days I'm filled with gratitude for the people who stuck with me as I slowly found my truth and the story or stories that go with it. In that process, I was able to learn to define those things that had for so long defined me. I'll end this podcast with a song that tells about an encounter I had with my mom when she was 90 and I was 65. For so long, our story had been with my dad in the hospital when I was born. My mom chose to unsuccessfully try to be with him and therefore not really there for me. And the truth is that she was just overwhelmed and wasn't ready for me to come into her life. And to find that out, even at 65, is a gift and a way to understand and love my mom more and better, as well as myself, or as the song says, it's never too late for a healing moment. Mom was a 90-year-old woman. I was a man of 65. A few years ago, around Christmas, we were talking about our lives. Because I was soon to be a granddad, we started talking about my birth when something buried for so long was suddenly unearthed. She said, I simply wasn't ready at the time that you were born with all that we had going on to handle one thing more. As I listened to her talking, I felt I was being exposed to both some kind of healing light and to a lightning bolt. When she finished, I sat a moment, making sense of what I'd heard, and inside an understanding that went way beyond those words. I got up, and I embraced her, and we both said, I love you, 
And then we sat down in the silence, not sure what more we should do. It's never too late for a healing moment, never too late to find our truth to be released, somehow to know it, to heal some primal Got up, went to the bedroom, where the tears began to flow. For all the things I finally knew, and for what I did not know. Well, I can't say what was different. I knew nothing was the same. What haunted me for all those years now finally had a name. For so long I'd been puzzled, and there it was, the missing piece. Something that had been holding me was suddenly released. Old maps and charts, now obsolete, fall off the edge no more. What once said, here be dragons, had become mine to explore. I went and found my mother, and when I looked into her eyes, I saw I was not the only one who had taken time to cry. In a way, we had been two lost souls who'd stumbled on a place where we'd once been adversaries, now each other's saving grace. It's never too late for a healing moment, never too late to find our truth to be released. Somehow to know it To heal those primal To heal some pride